Number 1. Sanjaran. An amazing place full of excitement and exploration, situated 15 kilometers to the north of a city called Solo in central province Java, Indonesia near Jemura Riverbank. It is also known as Early Man's Site because of excavation from 1936 to 1941 led to discovery of hominid fossil remains from the site which are believed to be more than 2 million years old. Number 2. Mesjid Agung, Surakarta. Located on Street No. 1 Common, Surakarta, Central Java, Indonesia, it is a royal 18th century mosque of the Orakata Sunanate. The mosque was built by Sanan Pakubuno III in the year 1768. It was a holy and spiritual place built for both Friday mosques and for the traditions and rituals conducted by the royal family. The mosque is still in use and has a religious significance for the local people. Number 3. Candy Suku. Candy Suku is located on the slopes of Mount Lo in Indonesia on the borders of Central and East Java provinces. It is a 15th century old Javanese Hindu temple where candy in Indonesia means temple. It is also known to be an erotic temple where the entrance is marked by a large lingam phallus and yoni, the cravings and art on the temple is unique are almost all erotic portraits. Number 4. Creighton Surakarta. Established in 1745, Creighton is a symbol of an empire's bygone era. Located in Surakarta city, central Java, Indonesia this place now acts as a museum and is a must-visit site. It is said that when Sultan Pakubuno II moved from Kartasuro to Solo in 1745 the procession took a day in removal of the king's belongings. Number 5. Taman Sri Wedari. Taman Sri Wedari is a cultural and historical place where you can get the feel of the recreational activities that the sultans of the region indulge themselves in. This garden has an amusement park and a theater. This is a park where you get to see one of the oldest shadow puppet shows, locally called the Y on the Rang. Number 6. Pasar Jeet. Pasar Jeet is an iconic market located in Surakarta, Indonesia. It is considered to be one of the biggest markets in Solo. Reconstructed in the year 2016, it is basically inherited from the Netherlands government so named as Pasar Jeet Herjanagora. The market consists of everything, right form objects of daily needs to specialized products that are exclusive to the marketplace. Number 7. Malagambang Park. This beautiful urban forest and park cover a wide area of 9.2 hectares in Solo City. There are various animals such as deer, doves, and turkeys that live and roam freely inside this park. There is also a reptile park that houses a wide array of reptiles such as crocodile, iguana, turtle, even other animals such as cassowary, eagle, monkey, and more. Number 8. Mankanagrin Palace. After their split from the Mataram Sultanate, Surakarta Sunanate faces yet another ordeal of civil war which would split the kingdom further in two. This is because the ruler of Surakarta at that time, Pakubuno II and III, was siding with the Dutch colonialists during the Yogyakarta, Surakarta conflict. Most of the Indonesian populace at that time hated the Dutch because of their oppressive and ruthless attitude toward the local. Number 9. House of Dinar Hadi. The main attraction here is obviously the history of batik and all of its cultural aspect including the process of making batik. The museum boasts an incredible collection of these distinctive textiles from various periods and locations. Some of the collections are antiques and originate from foreign countries. Some are made locally with a typical pattern that differs from region to region. Number 10. Kamuning Tea Field Tour. This is one of the best things to do in Solo, Indonesia to do a Kamuning Tea Plantation Tour. Situated in about 800 to 1,500 meters above the sea level, the vast and lush tea plantations in Kamuning surely offers you a serene, relaxing atmosphere as you walk through its fields. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.